Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Well, let's head on out and do some, uh... What is it, coffee day? Yeah, it's a coffee day. So, go over here. Works that way. This coffee clearly does that. You should be Chiro, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you went to Tartarus on uh, June 3rd, I believe Kazushi would also call you, but you'd want to turn him down too. If I don't tell you directly to accept a phone call, just turn it down. If you went to a Tartar, uh, went to Tartarus on a different day or whatever, and triggered a different phone call, let's do some studying. All right, June 6th. We have plans tonight? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The cutscenes, why I didn't want to, well, do anything. But anyway, we got to hang out with uh, Chihiro. Uh, because I brought a matching persona on the 4th, I don't need one today, but I have one anyway. But uh, if you did not bring one on the 4th, you will need one today. But if you've been following me, you should have them on uh, both days anyway, because you have Archangel. Unfortunately, she did not walk up to us at lunchtime. Which means this is just a spend time. Well, let's do it. I think this is the first time I've actually spent time, huh? Well, you don't get any story progression. This is all you get. Some generic scene of the two of you talking. If you get the message your relationship could become stronger soon, that means the next time you see the person, you will rank up. If you don't get that, you did not get enough points. You get 10 points for a spend time scene and 15 with a matching persona. We would be just short if we didn't bring a matching persona on either day. Which would not be good. We'd be behind today. Alright, let's get going. You do not want to be behind on a female social link. What's it's your really hurry? hard to make that up. I still think this is a bad idea. How could you be afraid of ghosts, but not be scared of things? We have giant demons. It's easy to get freaked out by something you can't see. Don't you think Demons! Actually, I'm more worried about things I can see. Like bats, and now You can set them on fire! <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, it'll be an adventure. You venture into a tower full of monsters. More like a suicide mission. You're a moron. And why aren't Akihiko and freaking Mitsuru coming with us? We're doing some investigating. Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Why are you wearing your school oh, uniforms? Man. This is worse than I thought. Do you just never change out of them during the day? Hey, you. I think 
you're in the wrong place. Uh, well, I... What's so fun? You can you summon a tornado! Get it? Beat it, goatee. Why are you hiding? Uh, goatee? Oh, you, you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Exactly. Hey, are you nuts? I know people People's complain about Yukari in this scene, but to me, it's Junpei that's the I'm moron. Not blind, you know. Come on, don't be intimidated by these scum. What was that? We can set your ass on fire. She just called us scum. We can set you on fire too. Let's get him. Who cares where they're from? We can zap you with lightning. <laughs> we'll post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. She'll wish she was never born. <laughs> oh, that's so clever. No, no, it's really not. <laughs> You should find better voice actors. These guys are the worst. You want to learn to shut that trap of yours. Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a pain in the ass. Huh? Whoa. You've been set on fire before. How did that hurt you? Junpei. I'm serious. We've been zapped with hey, lightning. I don't like your face either. We've been punched by giant God, demons. I and that stuns him? Bump. That shouldn't do anything to Junpei. That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. This just makes the protagonists right. look like weak pieces of crap. Who do you think you are, dumbass? You want some too? So, according to the game logic. Do I have a choice? Punks are stronger than shadows. Now. Okay, game. Sure. Ugh, shit. And this guy's stronger than everyone. Damn you, Shinjiro. That's right. You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? I thought you were one of us. What gave you that idea? I do like that response, though. I don't remember swearing a blood. I like you, Shinji. You're awesome. You son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive? Well, apparently you're stronger than Persona sure users. Want to give it a try? <laughs> uh, screw this. You just scared the crap out of them. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. Can we please set them on fire now? You better grow eyes in the back of your head. You better get a better voice actor because you're terrible. Oh man, Senpai, that was awesome! Yeah, you, you crawling idiots. on the floor like a weak pansy did not help our situation. Get here. This place isn't for you. I hate this scene. Wait! We came here for a I reason. I hate it. <laughs> you guys, you were at the hospital. Did Aki tell you to come here? No, he didn't. Hmm. What do you want to know about that ghost story? Oh, you do know about it. All right. Uh, yeah. How'd you know? It's a rumor. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every oh. night about all the things they'd done to some girl named Fuka. Oh. Fuka? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Fuka's spirit that did it. What? I hear it's all over the net, too. But she's not dead. Fuka's spirit? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Fuka girl might be dead. What? She hasn't been home in over a week. Oh, that's... Don't you guys go to school? How do you not know this? Yeah, sorry about that. Are you serious? I thought she was out sick. But she's missing? So much for the ghost story. Yeah. Mr. Ikoda is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know he about this? He should. I get it, Aki. 
still trying to make up for the past. What about his past? It's you who can't let go. What are you talking about? Nothing. That's nah, just not important. That's all I know. Satisfied? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Thanks, Senpai. You're a moron, Junpei. Come on. Show some appreciation. No. We have giant demons, and we got our asses kicked by random Thanks, punks. Totally us out. Who we should have been able to annihilate with good. one attack. Huh? I, uh, never mind. Don't come here again. At least this crap doesn't happen in Persona 4. I'm sorry, but how did we get our asses kicked to punks when they fight giant- I'm done. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Let's go out and, uh... Do some stuff. It's the six, right? So... Coffee. Right, coffee. Need some coffee to take my mind off the punks that don't. No, oh, I'll let it go. Let it go. Normally, I'm joking and exaggerating, but that scene really irritates me. I mean, even if they didn't want to use their personas, they still fought and killed monsters without their personas. Ranked up. That's good. Who's calling? Baby and Kenji? Let's blow them both off. Oh, Kenji didn't call for some reason. Oh well. Let's do some studying. Okay, uh, we are not doing the Hermit Link today. We are actually leaving and... Ah, shoot, I should check the TV. I have no idea what it sells. Please don't skip. Whew. Wasn't sure what would happen there. Perfume? It's a gift item? Why would I ever... W I can buy five medicines for cheaper than that! What the hell? That's totally useless. Wow. Okay, let's head on over to Naganaki Shrine, actually. We are going to do an Oracle draw. We actually need some more points for Yuko. So, oh, who's this kid? Over me. 
Sweet. Well, we're kind of an exception. I think this is the relationship shrine. Yes, it is. You do not need a matching persona for this today. Uh, you get you get 10 points normally and 15 with a matching persona. But if you've been following me, you should have Valkyrie with you anyway. So we want to imagine a female classmate. And we want to use, uh, imagine, well, you go here. So, yeah. Nice. Found some money. <laughs> if you do want to do last minute grinding, obviously this is the day to do it. Again, the night before the full moon, your party members will not leave when tired. I'm not going to. So I'm just going to do some coffee and studying. But, uh, final preparations. Recommended level is 14 just to get to level 15 quicker. Uh, you want to bring Lilam, Yamatsu Shikome, as well as... Yeah, because that's all four elements. Alp is useful for Dia, for healing single targets, and then Orpheus and Apsaurus for Cadenza that will heal your entire party. As well as some discharms and Maypatra gems, or Patra gems if you don't, if you can't get Maypatra gems yet. And that'll do the trick. Alright, so I'm gonna save up here. So in the next episode, we'll be doing the full moon. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.